<laughs> ANC says, let us deal with things to help unite the people of this country. Reconcile. Forget about the past. That's what I believe in. But there is the reality in South Africa that between us there are those who robbed others of their own possessions and made it theirs and left others to be poor. All I'm saying, let us correct that, not by fighting. When I said, when Jan van Riebeck landed in the Western Cape, our problems began. It's a, it's a, it's a historic fact. <clears throat> now, I always avoid giving the details of the history. Well, it's not necessary. When he landed, there were residents here, in this very city, who were established here, and they welcomed him warmly. And he established himself, they were together. Somewhere, somehow, a tension began, and there were wars that were fought. They were removed here forcefully from their area removed. There was a great track from here when there was a quarrel between the Africaners and the British. As a history of this country, there was an establishment of four republics, two belonging to the British, two belonging to the Africaners. When all of this was done, the blacks were not consulted. Even the establishment of the republics. At the end of that war, the English speaking and the Africaners met to negotiate and agreed the four republics should be combined and took very important decisions. And one of the decisions when these two met was that you will have therefore a union of South Africa, the government who should be elected at all times, but the black people. <clears throat> Don't raise conflict. Uh, con, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Things that are controversial. You, you, you use the words that come from London in the whole speech that we have made now. English. You say other people should not use those words. <laughs> Supporting the king. That's a suit to ring. How do support the king? You speak English. You take it from England. These are the words. There's no difference. Radical economic, if it comes from London, what you are saying comes from London. Why do you use it? If other people must not use that language. My babo. Hey. <laughs> Mr. My Man. Mr. My Man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we are dealing with the content, not the language. Radical economic transformation means you change the economy from the manner in which they are operating, deal with it in such a way that they are able to address the needs of the country for all South Africans. At the moment they are not. You need to be radical, radical to bring that change. Exactly. And this is an English, just like the English you are speaking. There's no harm about it. We speak English, unless you want me to say it in Zulu. <laughs> no, I, I am in government, we have a policy to deal with these matters. We have a policy as the ANC about the land issue. 
and we are dealing with that i don't need to support anyone i need to deal with the policy that is going to make us achieve a particular point if if what the the the, the king of the zulus is saying the land must come back of course <clears throat> No, don't, don't fit me with your words. With your, don't fit me with your English words from London. Please. Don't. <laughs> Once, if that settles the problem and that the land should come back, the issue of how it is is going to be resolved down the line. At the moment, other people in South Africa have title deeds, others don't have. People, for an example, under uh, the king, don't have a title to the majority of them. <coughs> no. No, don't go to the house. I'm going to 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 go Hmm? In Gilabo and Nama title deeds. Abanya Bantu go to Abanga Pants Wesu Silubanama title deeds. But Lugan Swa in Laband. Why bang a fan? Ye pin Iguanatene advantage paga to Wales Zombie. I king a fans Wales or Sim, Ugutitabang would have wins again. I took Gilly my shonjan. Isama uguti si sombulu lo sini Esi zo stola Eso uguenzu kutabantu Uba pate umshaba ngende lili nganaye Ginga tinu nga isa potilontu Ngobu umshaba vela uko Na lua umshaba noko na mgane Nga tinu nga isa pot Usu nguzui ilu Aspuma ngila andile Engu skuluma aspuma gazu Maka ya wale umshaya Ya bo words there's no difference radical economic if it comes from london what you are saying comes from london why do you use it if other people must not use that language my babo hey <laughs> mr my man mr my man mm -hmm. now i understand why these white people really hate zuma like honestly speaking I, I, the more you're looking at history, because history has got a tendency of telling you about fu the future, that's the more you realize that, huh, now I understand why they don't want Zuma. And you remember the campaigns that they funded, Save SA, blah, blah, blah. Under the current regime, have you ever heard them saying Save South Africa? One billion was stolen during COVID-19 in a space of uh, a year over not what 500 billion was stolen have you ever heard this white people funding campaign saying save sa no why because they are benefiting from this one and this one does not remind them who they are and this one the, the current one doesn't tell them they are true colors but that zuma guy constantly reminded them that yay if van ribbon has not landed in South Africa, we wouldn't have these problems. Moses, my man, Mister, my man. <laughs> I go to Zoom. Mister, my man, Mister, my man, with your London English. <laughs> We're talking of radical transformation. Hey, Robert, don't you miss Uzuma? I think we, uh, guys will do well with Uzuma man in Parliament. Hey, Mister God. <laughs> Like honestly speaking, there are a lot of things that we will talk about in this video, but I'm just thinking about the character of Zuma in general. Mr. My man. Mr. My man. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, hey guys, uh, we had a character, as in that guy. Hey, yeah, no. I will always, Jumo Zuma will always keep you entertained. I'm telling you. But again, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want us to keep ourselves entertained in a form of us 
subscribing liking the video and commenting in the comment section below the reason you need to do all of these things guys is that it does help out a lot when it comes to the youtube algorithm so you need to subscribe like the video comment in the comment section below you need to click the notification bell you need to watch this video until the end you need to watch the ads also you need to share this video doing all these things it's free of charge if you also want to support this channel further, I've got a media company that is in charge of this uh, podcast or that is in charge of this all of my channel. It's called Tundo W2C Media. You can support the channel through the bank details. You'll find it in the video description below. Mr. My Man, Mr. My Man. <laughs> but then if you look at Jacob Zuma, uh, that guy is very, he, look, he's, he's interested in history and I fear people who are interested in history because they understand how and why things were happening, right? So Zuma has all constantly taken a stand that we are in this pro we are in all of this mess because of white people. Some point it tells them that when black people went to went to London, all they wanted was just to say, listen, you can't come to South Africa. And now you are dividing yourselves. Uh, the English, look, the, 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 the African are the Boers. They want to control this portion of the half of the country. And the people from England, the white people from England, they want to control the other portion, half portion of the country. But we black people who are living in this country, we are excluded. They are saying, oh, Zuma was reminding them that there was this, there was that financial segregation and also geographical segregation, which was imposed on a black person and every time a black person will cross a certain boundaries they will be punished sometimes they will pay with their own lives they say that when we were protesting we were protesting to have those things removed we didn't even say that go out of this country but we said we want to be part and parcel of the leadership that's all we wanted and because these people are so greedy they had a problem with these people just participating, black people participating. And that you can see also in the DA. Look at the people that are resigning from DA, right? Look at what they are complaining about. Yesterday I was reading about one that was resigning in Soweto. Look at what they are complaining about, right? It is being undermined, right? So you can see that. And the other racism that is happening as of now that Jacob Zuma was speaking about in his speech, it's, it's, it's this thing what we call it financial segregation financial segregation guys let me tell you something a lot of you guys preach this thing that says um education is the key i'll tell you this education is the key only for a black person not white people in this country okay let me demonstrate this uh i'll use an established institution in this country called vodacom there's a, a guy in vodacom as a white guy in vodacom that is offering services at uh, Vodacom. That guy, he has a skill. So he's contracted to Vodacom because he's got a skill. He's providing a certain service. This guy has been doing this for years and it is making him a lot of money. He's living a very luxurious life. I, I don't know. I think it has got to do with IT and all the stuff. And uh, apparently he's the only one who is the best at what he does. He look, he has a child. This child, uh, I think he studied up to metric and then never went to university. He taught this child all the things that he's been doing for Vodacom. So sometimes now, he doesn't come to work. The child will be there doing exactly what the father will do, providing service to Vodacom, getting paid. So then you come to me and say, education is the key, blah, blah, blah. No. Education, you, they want you, a black person, to believe that education is, is key. No, education is not the key. The knowledge is key. Yeah, right? And also this. Remember, I spoke about financial segregation the other time when I was speaking about uh, a company that I used to work for in Wadeville, where we, there was this white guy who didn't go to school. He did not understand anything. Writing was the oh, he was horrible because he was never to you know, look, he has never been to school. He's an Afrikaner guy, so he gets there and we get told, Let it look, we should teach him work. So we taught him how things are done in that department. Then, boom, this guy is now a supervisor 
and they started look his salary um just the starting salary was eighteen thousand for a guy who can't even write because of this he was in a position he was now up ahead of us so i'm saying to you guys these people who understand that they know that when zuma keep reminding them this it unsettles them it makes them feel so uncomfortable because they understand that hmm, this guy is educating people about our true colors because really these people are corrupt guys i was uh, i also shared something that in the very same campaign right as a black person together with white people you will get your UIF, you will get your Provident Fund. Uh, most general local, most in the company, the company had about 1,000 employees, uh, most being general workers, right? Most of this general, not, not almost, all of these general workers did not have a pro, look, a thing such as a, a, a medical aid, right? So only few had a medical aid. Even then, when it comes to that white people to them it was just a standard and the black people will will enjoy few black people will enjoy that and that was the last benefit from there there was something in that campaign which only white people are pretty privileged to have which is now this thing where you have um a white person is look from their salary there's a portion that they are giving to the local that they, they are giving and the company will give something in red local give will also give something and that guy within a space of five years he was telling us that that thing alone had made him at least not less than one million rand right as a white guy he already has that one million rand that if he were to resign he will be given that one million rand. it's a benefit the company is popping out money he's also popping out money that option is not available to black people right so you had zoom you hear zuma here who constantly remind them that the problems of black people are and look started when white people uh, arrived in south africa and you don't want to believe that it's history's facts right today racism may not be expected experienced like it happened in the past but i can tell you this some of white people don't need qualification they don't need qualification to be there they need this color of their skin to occupy positions in some places and some locations in this country um you can only be trusted based on the color of your skin I'll give an example about it. The other time I was in Fendale. So there's a total there's a total garage there. So I, I decided that I'm not going to park at that total garage. I was like, let me park on the pavement. I was busy with my phone. A white guy comes out. He's, he and his employees comes out and he tells me, why are you parked here? And I'm like, why I shouldn't park here? And he says, you shouldn't park here. It's my place. And I said, what if you are coming here to steal? I'm, I, I looked at him and I'm like, my man, where I park my car, that space belongs to government, not you. And then I showed him, and I was like, you see that wall? That's a demarcation. From that wall, we're going that side, it's your house. From that wall, going this side, it's, that place belongs to government. You can never tell me not to park my car here. I, f I didn't block your gate. He was furious, you know who I am. You know what I'm going to do to you? I'm like, do what you want to do, but I'm not going to move here. I was, he was angry, was driving a latest Range Rover, and I'm like, "You are emotionally high. You will come down. I'm not. I'm not moving here." Yeah, I'm gonna do this too. I called the police. I said, "Go, call them. I'll teach them how how things are done here. This is not your place. This is government place." That's because I'm black person. I'm a black person. He doesn't. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, my 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 camera decided to do what it does the best just cut everything i was saying because of the color of my skin i cannot be trusted around certain people so jacob zuma constantly reminds them that our problems began when you arrived here before you we were free safe we we, 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 we shared things equally and you came here took everything to yourself 
Now you are giving us crumbs. Lately portion. We must share that. Lately portion. He keeps reminding them that even today, the economy is in your hands. And you are not willing to share it. You just want to continue. Have it yourself. And one of the problems with... Look, one of the problems crime happens in the country is because some people are hungry. And no one cares about it. Right? You can keep telling people this kafir, this what what who are stealing from us. But you must look at the... Con the problem is that they don't know that the people know me better than they, they do. That's a problem they have. Even the media. They think they know me better. No. The people of this country know me better than they do. They know better how honest I am than they do. <clears throat> They've tried to tell people how useless this man is. The media. They have. <laughs> they can't succeed. Because people know me. You know here. People know 